Hello, everybody. So I'm going to discuss with you guys a very cold case. This is about Sharon Louise Giusti. It is an Italian pronunciation. Um, her and her daughters vanished in the year 1963. March 5th, 1963 from Port Townsend, Washington. They were considered endangered missing. She would be 81 years old today. She went missing at 20 years old. She would be 5'5", 120 to 130 pounds at the time of her disappearance. She is a Caucasian female, brown hair and blue eyes. Back then they had black and white photos. So that's why you see the photo on the screen as black and white. <clears throat> so let's get into it. So Sharon and her daughters, Michelle, Renee, and Clara, were last seen at their family's farm five miles south of Port Townstead, Washington, on March 5th, 1963. Sharon's husband, Raymond William Juicy, claimed he had been working in the fields all afternoon. When he returned, to the house at the end of the day, his wife and children were gone. A car, some clothing, and some money were also missing from their home. Raymond reported his family missing four days after they were last seen on March 9th, 1963. The day after he filed the report, Sharon's vehicle was found beneath a highway overpass more than two miles from the farm. There are no pictures of Clara. In that picture, that is Michelle Renee. Clara was 10 months old at the time of her disappearance. Michelle was exactly one years old when she went missing. She would be 62 years old today. When they went to check on the vehicle, it was unlocked and there was no sign that Sharon, Michelle, or Clara were there in the vehicle, around the vehicle, or anything. And it was found under a highway overpass more than two miles from their farm. It was un unlocked as I said. They have never been seen since March 5th, the last time Raymond saw them. And they had a bunch of issues in the past of their marriage and it was said that they had issues around the time that they all three of them had vanished. And she would go visit family while, you know, they went through their tiffs. And she did tell her family that, you know, she had fears of Raymond, that she was afraid for her life. So she would stay with family members. until they were reconciled. So about a year after they went missing, Raymond did remarry. But there is no, you know, history on that marriage out there on social media or on the internet. In the year 2018, he did take his own life. There's no photographs of um, Clara, her birthday was May 4th, 1962. 
She was 10 months old at the time of her disappearance. She has red hair and blue eyes. Unfortunately, due to the circumstances, police do believe they disappeared under suspicious circumstances and could possibly be deceased. And this case remains unsolved. We have seen cases um, solved after so many years with the person of interest um, being deceased. I also wanted to mention that Michelle may go by Rena, which was her middle name, Renee. Well, it would be pronounced, you know, in English and American version of Renee, but it's Rena. Michelle, sub agencies give Michelle's middle name as Rena not as Renee, <clears throat> excuse me. So I wanted to put this case out there. Yes, it is a very, very cold case, but they are still considered missing and their case is still unsolved and they still matter. So please help me get their names and faces out there by hitting the like button, commenting below, and let's light their way home. Thank you all for watching and I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day. Love you all.